Hello everybody and welcome to T. Jones Gaming. My name is Tori. Uh, today we're playing some Unturned and we are working on episode 2 of the um, base build on the custom map called Canadian Invasion. I did some thinking about how I could make this work and I actually uh, pre-fitted a little bit to um, just ensure that it would and I think I got it figured out. So we're going to start with these posts. Let's see, hopefully we can reuse some stuff because oh, that's not what I want. I want this. So we got that, and then I need to get up on top of there. Here we go. We'll put this here. these anymore it's interesting it's got a little more like minecraft uh physics now um where that roof could be suspended just attached to the other roof we don't need this ladder right now and some walls And here's where the tricky part came in, because walls will not work here. I can't, I can't put a pillar here. Let's see if I could show you an example. No, I can't put a pillar here, which means I can't put a wall here or a regular doorway here. But he's come out with this door frame. Does that look good? I'm going to call it good. Um, and he's also come out with these large metal plates, which I can put in place right here. Close enough for government work, right? Let's move this back a little bit. So it looks kind of flush at least. Alright. Well, I'm alright with that. And then I got some of these, uh, some metal siding to put up above. Look at that. Fancy. Let's put a door on there. I want it to open out. Very nice. Let's see if we can't attach our ladder. Yeah, I wonder if we'd just be better to put it outside the wall. It might be easier to work with. I think that'll work. So, our satellite dish is still out there. And we can get on top of our structure. We've still got our everything you know, our original building exposed, but also everything is completely enclosed. 
which is what we were shooting for. And I'm going to move this off the roof so that it's not quite so vulnerable to uh, sabotage. You know what I mean? For now, I'm just going to put it in the center of this room, but I'm still thinking about making more to ensure that... Uh, Um, so that we can maybe get those zombies outside away. Like on a full moon, I don't want them attacking the walls or anything. Okay, let's get way up in the sky so we can see what's what. I think that's going to work. All right. Generator. I mean, I was thinking maybe four, one in each corner. It seems like a lot of work, but... In any event... Our... First step of getting our building ready is complete it's totally secure from the outside I mean don't get me wrong you could anyway come up with explosives and blow it open but so I might do some more to it just some do some little I don't know finishing touches make it look cooler I mean, right now, it's basically just a metal box, but we could do some fun stuff with it. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do. I don't really need these pillars anymore, so I'm just going to take them down. Because they're wood, and everything else is metal. I like the look of the metal. We don't need a bunch of wood pillars getting in our way. So we'll just remove them all. Man, the salvage feature is so nice. Back in the old day, you used to have to find a sledgehammer and then bang away at things to knock them down. But now it's just like, boom, down it goes. I made some modifications since my last recording, but um, my recording software crashed, so um, I'll just run you through them real quick. Uh, I moved the generator here because I added in a few more safe zone radiators. I added one there, and then put one here, and then I put one here, uh, and that's because, let's pick this up and I'll show you the... Uh, the radius that they're protecting. So you can see um, there were zombies spawning around that helipad uh, and I didn't want that and then down in that south corner there was a zombie spawning that I wanted to stop and then I wasn't sure about the um, the west side because um, no zombies had spawned there, but it might have been because my safe zone radiator, I think the safe zone radiator was keeping them from spawning there. So I put another one on the, the east wall. And I, so I think we're good. I don't think any zombies will spawn that can, um, that are going to get, you know, when the full moon comes, that are going to attack the walls of my base. And I moved the generator here so that it will uh, reach all of those safe zone radiators. Now, I think that an industrial generator would probably cover more area, but I don't have one of those right now. I just have that little generator. So I had to move the pump jacks as well so that they would be within range of the of this little generator. And I think I'm going to put a little farm here. Maybe just lettuce, lettuce and tomatoes, maybe. Lettuce, uh, 
my little brother did some experimentation. He says lettuce gives you the the most balance between um, hydration and nourishment. So that's why that's why I'm looking at growing lettuce. But tomatoes are p- pretty good, and they don't make as much sound. When you eat lettuce, it's crunchy. So like if you're on a super stealth mission, you maybe want to take tomatoes instead because they're quieter. Now what I want to do is put a... Uh, I want to put a fence around um, the perimeter. I'm going to put a barbed wire fence around the perimeter, mostly I, just because it's going to look cool, I think. Um, and I want to make it as like true as possible, like square and, and even as possible. So... I think that being able to look at it from above is going to help me do that. So, and I want to, I'm going to make it like one fence length out. It's kind of interesting trying to navigate this way. Okay, it's easier if I do it like this. So see how I'm trying to put it one uh, one fence length away from the existing walls. All right, and then we'll go into our F2 view again. That looks pretty good. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. wonder how they do this in real life. Oh, you know what they do? I bet they put down like little, uh, um, you know, like a line, like a string line to help you make it all like perfect. Whoa, okay. It's harder to navigate from this direction. You know, I might try to change my camera angle here. Okay, so I'm going to go to H, Shift F1, and rotate my camera angle around a little bit. I want to be kind of right over the top of myself. Okay. Now when I go to H2, Shift, oh, H, Shift, F2, then now it's a little easier to work with. Clearly, it's not going to be perfect. Oh, shoot. I'm dying of thirst. I ate some lettuce, and that should keep me alive for a little bit longer, which is going to be helpful in our building plans. And I'm going to put a couple of doors in here. Don't worry about that. We just haven't got there yet. I'm just laying out the basic outline right now and see if these zombies mess with me while I'm doing this. I just get it as close to perfect as we can. It's not going to be totally perfect. It's kind of nice that with the floor plates you can lock them to each other. See if this zombie's gonna mess with me. All right, um, we need to change. I'm I'm scared of these zombies.
need to change our view again. What? It took me two shots to put him down. Okay, let's see here. Do H, Shift F1. That's going to allow us to change our view. Okay, I think that's good. Then we'll go back into ourselves, our first person view, and then go H, Shift F2. And now we can move our um, character rather than moving our camera. So somehow I gotta figure out how I can fit like a garage door. I'm gonna want it to line up pretty precisely with that. I think it'll be okay. I think we'll be able to do it. So when you roll up on this, you're going to know that there is a serious base going on here. So we need to put a doorway here. Whoa! Ouch. Lagged out a little bit there. Hurt myself. And then uh, um, an entrance on the other side. That is a serious base we got going. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, go ahead and uh, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you don't miss a single one of the exciting upcoming unturned base build episodes. Until next time, take it easy.